Ah, the gods are angry. We're all doomed. A challenge for theists, dualists, and other supernaturalists. Regardless of the inherent nature of theists to form their own distinct interpretation of God or gods, evident by the numerous different religions and subsets of denominations therein, almost all of them can agree on one thing. God creates life and humans have a soul, some sort of non-physical entity that not only is necessary for our existence, but will also continue to exist after our physical bodies have started to decay. Science teaches us that the genetic information from our parents is combined to form a new, unique individual and that our species has evolved from lesser life forms, that our distinct personalities and subjective experience are derived from our DNA blueprint and developed in combination with our environment. The human brain is plastic, ever-changing, ever-learning, always different than the day before. Therefore, even if we would have the exact genetic material as another individual, we would still be completely unique individuals. For example, a hypothetical identical twin will not have the same neural pathways as I possess, since the formation of these are not predetermined by fate, nor our genetic material, but instead shaped and guided by our surroundings. Therefore, we can conclude that if we had 10 identical individuals in 10 different environments, would lead to 10 unique experiences, and that the 10 different individuals in the exact environment would also lead to 10 unique experiences. But I digress. I want you theists, dualists, and other supernaturalists out there to think about a hypothetical situation. But first, can we all agree that you believe that for a human to exist, According to you, he or she will need some sort of non-physical soul, or whatever you want to call it. It is not important. For an atheist or naturalist, no soul is needed anywhere to explain anything. Every aspect of human nature and human existence can be explained by natural means, and a soul would be superfluous and will only serve as an escape route from an inescapable death. For my challenge to you, I would like you to consider what would happen if we cloned a human being. I feel that it is safe to assume that cloning, which is a purely a physical process, would not be able to clone a soul, a purely non-physical entity. But if you disagree on that, you may include it in your answer. I personally do not think cloning humans is a good idea, and my challenge is a purely hypothetical challenge for your mind. I believe there are four possible ways for your theists, dualists, and various other supernaturalists to tackle my challenge. A. Only God can create life and or souls. Therefore, cloning humans will not be possible. Would you then reconsider your faith in your particular deity and religion if someday we would produce a human clone? B. God would grant the human clones a soul. Will that not entail that we could force God to create life, create souls, giving us power over him? C. The cop-out. It is God's will that someday scientists would clone humans if that happened. Would that not negate the concept of free will? That if I decide to clone humans, then that was God's wonderful plan in the first place. Then if I raped, murdered and so on, Will not that also be contributed to God's wonderful plan? D. Something else. Please explain in detail. I would really appreciate if you theists out there would accept my challenge. So far I have not found a single one that could give a satisfying answer to it. Post a comment, send me a PM, or make a video response. I am looking forward to having a dialogue with you on this topic. I would send this challenge to theists I come across. I will post in this description box or in annotations those who decline to answer my challenge within a month. It will be up to you to decide if it is because they cannot give an answer or if they don't think it is necessary to do so.